nobody. Not no how, not no way, does it better. Your second set of eyes. Don't miss this Breeders' Cup seminar. Thank you for visiting Pass the Wire TV, the YouTube channel of PassTheWire.com. Make it your most profitable Breeders' Cup ever with Pass the Wire. Sign up now for the annual Breeders' Cup seminar. All the angles, winning insights, betting strategy, and more. The best Breeders' Cup seminar on the planet, only from Pass the Wire. With a proven track record of success, nobody does it better. Reserve your spot today at PassTheWire.com. It is here, the big day, the day almost all of us in horse racing wait for, Breeders' Cup Saturday. It looks like we're going to see some really, really impressive races on Saturday. It starts with the Philly and Mare Sprint. Uh, one of my stronger opinions on the card is, is Goodnight Olive to start things off. I think she gets a perfect trip. Goodnight Olive, six in a row and a Breeders' Cup champion. We've got Modern Games going in the turf mile for Godolphin. Uh, the Godolphin and Aiden O'Brien horses we said on Pass the Wire TV all week long on the backside. Those two contingents stuck out from all the rest. Modern Games looking for a, a, a big race in front of him. Modern Games storming down the center of the course. Modern Games, a two-time Breeders' Cup winner. You bet he is. That is Rebels Romance, who in my humble opinion is one of Godolphin's uh, better chances this year. Rebels Romance is a very, very good looking Godolphin horse that can absolutely win this race. Rebels Romance is a must use. Rebels Romance, rolling on the outside, Marla Gattis makes her bid down toward the inside. Rebels Romance down the center of the court, has a close to home. Rebels Romance wins the turf over Stone Age. We got Flightline that they're putting in the best ever category. There's no question that the race he ran in the Pacific Classic is one of the best races we've seen any racehorse run ever. It is Flightline, it is mind tingling, jaw dropping, awe inspiring, Secretariat Mike Raiders Cup Classic win. He won it by eight legs on the wire. Very interesting in Detroit, in my opinion. This is a horse that always showed a lot of potential. Uh, exploded second time out, win by four. Here comes Cogburn, and Cogburn has his sights on Nobles in the final 16th of a mile. There's a lot of turf in this pedigree, top and bottom. It will be Cogburn on the outside getting to the front. The other thing that I like about, about Cogburn a lot is when I look at his star graph, numbers uh he's got some fast races he's got a one and Cogburn under ricardo santana jr wins the troy i love in these three-year-old races again those of you that, that that watched the show and have been reading you know you know my columns and a lot of my handicapping things all over the years no i like up and comers i like betting horses to do things that you, you know maybe we can anticipate that some others can't and that's how you sometimes beat um, a lot of favorites. I like program trading. And program trading, program trading, resilient coming back on the inside. Program trading would not be denied. Quite a barrier was very interesting to me for a couple of reasons. We heard from Blake, we know what the bond thinks, okay? Second time Rick Dutrow. This time gets the jump from the catbird seat and turn it for home. Why the Barrio was going to be in the race, if not on the lead, in the race, and the one they got to go get. Really they're at the top of the stretch in the Whitney, and White of Barrio is the leader narrowly over Giant Game. We've had Irad breezing him a bunch at Belmont before he came up here. I know Irad really likes him. You know, we think that he should improve off of his last race. And, you know, if he gets a clean trip, we're expecting him to run big. Look at White of Barrio in a red or T. In a runaway, White Abario wins by almost six lengths. Now, 
probably to me the most intriguing horse in the race, uh, Arabian Knight, who I thought was probably um, one of the best three-year-olds early in the year. Feel for the one million dollar fan duel Pacific Classic sent on their way. On the inside, Go Rocket Ride broke beautifully and goes straight to the lead. Being joined now by Arabian Knight. Two favorites, one, two in the early going. Arabian Knight. He's here, the, 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 the last and maybe, maybe, maybe mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fastest one of all? At the end of the day, it just might be Arabian Knight if he goes forward as much as I think he can off that one and three quarters. It's Arabian Knight hanging on. Go Rocket Rider, Arabian Knight has won the Pacific Classic. I land on the Bottom horse, Bright Future for Todd Fletcher. As the field turns for home, Bright Future is up to take the lead. One for one at Saratoga. You, you all know how much I like that. And we all know that all meet long, the horses that went over the track, the horses that like the track. Bright Future digging in. Proxy's trying to get him. Bright Future or Proxy. Bright Future, Proxy. Here's the line. Photo finish, Bright Future. This year, our Breeders' Cup seminar, the annual Pass the Wire Breeders' Cup seminar with a track record like none other is brought to you by Game of Silks and Sure Bet Coffee. Uh, grab your spot while there are still seats available. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. We're going to take some big swings and we hope to see you all there. And as always, the Pass the Wire annual Breeders' Cup seminar is free for all first responders, law enforcement, uh, past and present military. So if you fall into any of those categories or think you may, uh, follow the instructions on the announcement on PassTheWire.com and in the comment section and uh, description section of this video, and you will get your invitation. We will see you all there. Nobody does it better.